Hi there, and welcome to the What's New for the second release of quarter three, scheduled around the 22nd of September. So let's dive straight and have a look at what we've got in the Frameworks release. That should become clear fairly soon. Um, some of you have probably already received a bit of a heads up with regard to what we've been working on, so let's go and have a look at the detail. Okay, a few things that we've done in the admin console, um, largely sort of invisible, but um, important all the same. So we, we've applied a, an upgrade to the Power BI Analytics to align with the latest and greatest from Microsoft. Um, the activity log we've enhanced a little bit, um, just really to cover off the fact that some uh, administration users are across multiple tenancies, so just to tidy that up. And within the job editor, because of these additional frameworks, we can now add additional framework information into jobs. Uh, a lot of work been done in the planner console, majority of this uh, around these additional frameworks. So we can now have an individual update the skill profile using whatever framework you've loaded in, entirely up to you, so very flexible. Um, in the same way that we can overlay um, skills, Sophia skills with a job against somebody's profile, we can do that with these extra framework capabilities. Very um, Simple changes here, but, but powerful all the same. Um, we, we've, we've been asked that when you first log in that you initially see the compact, compact view rather than having to click on it. Um, so we've done that. Um, the approval between team leaders and managers will include extra frameworks if they're there. And a minor one, but again, just from a user point of view, uh, when you scroll the uh, column headings for the level numbers uh, remain static at the top of your screen. Okay, so let's go and have a quick look at the job editor. So I'm currently logged in here by the administrator. I've clicked on the job editor button. Um, this is project manager. I'm currently looking at what you're all no doubt used to, which is the Sophia skills with all the standard capabilities. But in our demo environment, what we've done, we've included um, a new framework called Core Competencies works in exactly the same way. So wherever I hover, I get the description and I can use the edit button to add and remove what's required within this job relating to this new framework. So pretty straightforward, um, same sort of edit capability, but again, just the option to have whatever framework you'd like in the behavioral or whatever. And if we look at it from the planner point of view, so again, I'm logged in here. Um, as an individual, I'm looking at the self-assessed Sophia profile and I've overlaid the, uh, the job requirements, just using the show and hide button. But again, I've got this additional framework core competencies. When I first click on it, I'm now looking at this individual's um, recognized core competencies. And if I click the show button, it will overlay what the job requirement is in the same way as it does in the Sophia um, tab. So again, a big step forward in terms of being able to include your own uh, frameworks within the system. Um, you just talk to us with regard to that and uh, it's a very simple process, just via a, a spreadsheet template and we can load that in for you. Okay, so those are the really um, major enhancements that we've got in this release all around this additional framework capability. Um, but just as a reminder, We've got single sign-on. We've got um, many of our customers already using that. So basically, you know, just click straight through into Skills TX once you're already authenticated using a unique URL. Very easy to set up. Ask us about it. Improve your employee experience. Complete a few fields on a two-page template, and within a very short period of time, you'll have single sign-on. And also, just as another reminder, we're now operating out of three data centers, default being Australia, but we've also got Netherlands and United States. So if your prime user base is located in either Europe or North America, then get in touch, let us know. A little bit of work again for us to migrate your data across to the um, alternative data center. And of course, if you're in that jurisdiction, it might be that we uh, improve your performance at the same time, just because of network latency. Okay, so that's it. That's the quarter three, release two, what's new. 
as always, any questions or if you want to reach out to us, contact me at paul.collins at skillstx.com. We'd love to get more of you on single sign-on and if you like, move you to a data center nearer to your main user base. Thanks again. See you on the next What's New.